Okay, this is a quick Photoshop tutorial on how I first learned how to do Photoshop. So, the first thing that I recommend that you do is go up to Image, Adjustments, and then go to Desaturate. And that's going to change your image to black and white, and it'll keep you from getting bleed over. Alright, so the second thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. So, if you go down here on the right-hand side under where it says Layers, there's one that looks like a folded piece of paper. If you click that, that's going to create you a new layer. And we want that layer to be soft light. All right, so on this one, it's, it's going to look odd, but just bear with me. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my brush tool, and I'm going to pick what I want to color. So the first thing I'm going to color is her jacket. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to color her jacket. And that's the only thing that I'm going to color on this layer. The way that layers work is you're going to color each item on a different layer. That way that you, you can adjust just that one thing. And I like to use a really bright color because it stands out and it's easy to see if you've missed any spots. So we're going to go through. We're going to color all this. And you would clean up any overflow like right there. But I'm just going to go through. This is just a quick tutorial to kind of show you how this works. Alright, now I'm going to go through and I'm going to clean this up. Just a tad from that overflow. All right, so there's two ways to do this. The first one is you can go up to Image, Adjustments, and go to where it says Hue and Saturation. If you look there, it says Control U is your shortcut. So we can push Control and U, and it's going to bring our shortcut up. So if I want this a different color, which we do, we don't want this bright purple, we're going to go through, and we can change the color by using this top slider here. So if I wanted a blue, I can adjust your saturation to make it a lot more saturated or a lot less saturated, and I can even adjust the darkness to make it a little darker. And I like that right there. It looks good and it looks natural, so I'm going to push OK. So again, we're going to go to the next layer. So we're going to create a new layer. We're going to put it on soft light, and we're going to do the next thing. And we don't have to change our color because we're keeping with the same color every single time. Make sure my hardness is all the way down. So I'm going to do her hair. And there's a piece there. I'm going to take my brush size down a little bit. So again, I'm going to press Control U. I'm going to find that color that's a good hair color for her, and for her, it's probably going to be in the browns. So I'm going to colorize, and it's going to be somewhere in between here. And I actually want it a little bit darker. So I'm going to take my darkness down, and maybe take my saturation up just a hair. Not that saturated. I missed a spot. There we go. All right, so control U. If I push this colorize, I can kind of pick where those colors are going to be. And there, I'm going to take this saturation down some. And push OK. And then we're going to go to the next layer. The next layer, I'm going to do the screen back here. So like I said, we don't have to change our color. We do want to make it soft light, though. And I'm going to just go through and color where that green would be. This just prevents you from spending a lot of time trying to pick colors that are not going to work for you, have to erase them and go back. 
just makes it a little faster because you're dealing with the same color every time. You're not having to spend a lot of time switching your colors out. All right, so now we've got all that colored. So we're going to push Control U. I'm going to push Colorize so I know that I'm going to my greens. And I like that, but I want it a little darker. So it kind of brings her forward. All right, and I'm going to push OK. So then we're going to create a new layer, make it soft light. We're going to do her skin tone. So we're going to go in. We still on this pink. It's going to look weird. I'm just going to go in. I'm going to color her face bright pink. And because we use that bright pink, you can see like I missed a spot there. Just makes it really easy to spot those places that you miss. That's that's why you use that. And it doesn't have to be bright pink. It can be any bright color. All right. So we've got all that done. We're gonna go in. We're gonna push Control U. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna pick a skin color. So we want it. More in there, and even saturate a little more. And I can actually just duplicate that layer. And it's going to make it really orange, and then I'm going to turn that down. And I can even push Control U on that and adjust that layer if I wanted it a different color. All right, so then we've got her eyes and her lips, and then we're going to be done. So we're going to make one more layer. We're going to go into her lips. We're going to zoom in, which this is not a high quality photo. We're going to take our brush size down. We're going to make sure you're on soft light, people. We're going to color her lips. We're going to push Control U. And push OK. We're going to create a new layer, make it soft light. We're going to stay on that pink. Sorry, guys. Go ahead and do that. All right. Push Control U. And then find that eye color we're wanting. And turn that saturation down some. Push OK. And then on the flow, we've got, I've actually got my flow turned down some. I'm turning it down just a little bit more. I'm going to create a new layer, go to soft light, and I'm just going to go over our eyebrows a little bit. All right, we're going to push Control U. Push OK, and let's zoom out and look at our picture here. And we could go in and put blush and all that, and you would do that exactly the same way. You would start a new layer. Let me turn my flow back up. And I make it about the size of the cheek. Go to soft light. All right. And then I'm actually going to fade this down just a little bit. So I'm going to turn my opacity down. 
and then I'm going to go to Control U. I'll find a color that works for her. I can turn it, the saturation down just a hair. It's okay. And there is your final image. So that's the easiest way to learn Photoshop is just kind of play with it. But it keeps you from spending a lot of time working with your colors and just doing something simple. Um, I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, please just let me know. Also, remember to, when you get done, go to your layers, flatten your image before you save it. Just save as and save it wherever you want that. And you're going to go to progressive and push OK. And there's your final image. Thanks, guys.